I'm here at the Black Harvest Film Festival with my boy Simeon and... Uh, my name is Kristen Ellis. And, and Kristen, now they were in this film, which, which, which is called Lost Girl. And what, what uh, you guys talked a little bit about the film, but, but Christian, I, I want to say um, that you really did embody that character. Talk a little bit about what the character, who the character is in this, and the, um, the process of you embodying that character. Um, yes, thank you, first off. Um, absolutely. Um, Nola is a young 17 year old girl um, living, you know with circumstances that she didn't ask to be born into. You know, unfortunately, her mother is a single mother. She doesn't have a father figure in her life. And so her mom is still, you know, wanting to be out there. I I'm thinking, you know, her mother had her young. So she still has like a young mind herself, kind of almost like a child having a child. And so when you're young, you know, you are still out there in the streets. You want to do things, you want to explore, particularly in the neighborhood that they are growing up in, like on the south side of Chicago. So I just feel like Nola, she's a, a young girl. She's ambitious. She has dreams and goals and aspirations. She wants to make something of herself. But I think just because of the circumstances and the things that she was uh, born into, kind of almost the hand that she was dealt, she found herself just um, entering unlikely things, uh, abusive relationship, but this is a girl that's never had a father figure, no one to ever buy her anything, never to tell her that she was worthy or beautiful or that she was worth something. So I believe that the first time she heard that, she clung to it, almost as if Jay was a father figure. So she easily trusted him. Um, I think it's easy to say like, oh, she's so gullible and naive, but what young person wouldn't give in to that? If they've never had that before, um, you're gonna cling for that, for comfort, for security, for protection. So Nola was someone that felt that she could genuinely trust Jay. Um, she didn't know that she would find herself in violence or the drug trade, things like that. But due to um, needing something that she didn't even know that she needed, it was by any means necessary she would do whatever he said because she still trusted him, even though he put her in harm's way. So. Wow, wow, that, that was actually, hey, we don't even need you, Simeon. No, 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 but, but, but Simeon, you, you do play this character who is a predator. I mean, and you prey on her as well as prey on some of her friends. Um, talk about a, a little bit, because you talk a lot, so talk a little bit about the process of, of getting into that character. Uh, getting into the character, it was a challenge for me because that's a character that's the total opposite of my character and who I am. But I saw the need to tell the story, and I saw the need to help. I saw the need to help break generational curses, and that's what I wanted to do. And like even looking with Enola, I saw that she needed a father figure, but then I didn't really have a mother figure because if I respected women more, I probably wouldn't put her through that. So it's one of those things, there was these different nuances and different things going on, and we were able to portray that in the film, and I think people are gonna get the story. So so before I let you go, I, I, I think that the chemistry was really uh, good in this, in this film, and so talk about, talk, talk about your co-star. Oh man, I love working with Kristen. She's such a professional, and, and it was easy to work with her, bounce things off her, practice with her, and so when it came to the performance of it all, it just all flowed and went together. So one of the things uh, it, it, that they talked about is that you did a lot of little things, and I actually noticed that. Some of the uh, expressions and mm -hmm. the way in which you looked at the screen mm -hmm. and things of that nature. This being your first uh, feature film, yeah. you put your all into this one. Yes, I did. I definitely, I mean, I, I, first off, I just, like, I'm a woman of faith, and I just really know that it's by the grace of God that I'm even here. And so this was a huge door and an opportunity for me. So I think I really just wanted to honor God first and foremost, and then also honor my cast and honor Ed. You know, like, they, they believed in me, and instead of me looking at that as a form of intimidation, it was a form of inspiration. Like, I could do this, you know, and... Yes, <laughs> and so. But what you say? And this is why I will work with her anytime. Well, we, you, you got it right here. I'm Reggie Ponder, the real critic. I'm here at the movie Lost Girl with the two stars, and, and they weren't lost. I'm gonna tell you that, that one thing. Uh, I'm signing off, Reggie Ponder. See you guys later.